As the co-founder of a small internet business that is actually building a personal CRM app, we see many customers who are super excited and want to use our app but end up uh, churning and leaving just because they simply don't have the right setup to use a personal CRM. So in this video, I will explain you what is the right setup, what are the apps that you need to use in order to be able to make the most out of a personal CRM. This is important because there are some situations where you simply cannot use a personal CRM where it will just be too much work, too much hassle, and there is no point uh, giving it a try because from our experience, we know that you will stop using uh, the app at, at some point. So let's dive right in. Who do you need to be in order to use a personal CRM? First thing, you need to be a massive email user. If you don't use email a lot, it's gonna get really tough. The reason for this is that email is the most accessible communication data source that exists. As a personal CRM, we can't connect to your WhatsApp account. We can't connect to your iMessage account. The most valuable source of communication data we can access is your emails. So if you're someone who uses email a lot, like myself, then great. It means that we will be able to capture a lot of your communication data. We will know who you know, who are your contacts, who you're in touch with. But if unfortunately you're someone who doesn't use email a lot and most of your communication is via WhatsApp or iMessage or LinkedIn or Twitter, then it's going to get really hard because in order to effectively use a personal CRM, you will need to manually log a lot of data. You will have to tell your app, oh, I talked on WhatsApp with this person. Oh, we talked on Twitter. We talked on LinkedIn. And because of the time effort required, you will just not do it and this is totally fine and this makes sense and we know many people who told us no no i will do it i i'm happy to spend some time doing it and pe people just won't and that's the way things are the second critical thing is that you need to be a massive calendar user you need to be the kind of person that always has a full calendar which means you are pretty organized for example when you meet someone for a coffee you will create a calendar meeting and add this person as an attendee just so you know you have a coffee meeting or for your yoga session, you will have it in your calendar. The reason this is important is because calendar data is super valuable because it tells a personal CRM a lot more than just email interactions. When you actually have a meeting with someone, like you meet in real or you have a video call, this is much more intense and a much um, stronger type of interaction than just sending out an email. And so being able to know who are the people you have strong interactions with is very insightful and powerful for apps to help you find out who you're losing touch with and who you need to reconnect with. And finally, and this is more of a personality thing, in order to really effectively use a personal CRM, you have to accept that you will not be able to spend as much time maintaining your CRM as you would like it to. We, and this happens, happens all the time. We see many uh, customers who sign up and are willing to spend hours and hours, or at least they tell us that they want to spend hours. They tell us, yes, I'm ready to spend hours cleaning my data, setting up reminders, um, creating groups, adding tags and so on. And they just want to have this perfectly organized view of their contacts. Um, and we tell them, no, you won't. Uh, they tell us, yes, I will. And then we always reach back out after a few weeks and they didn't, um, which is normal. Like th there is on one side, you really want to have a super clean contact book. You want to have an app that is that, you know, you want to be able to search by, by country. You want to be able to search by job. You want to be able to search by anything and find people and you want to put in the time, but it's just a lot of time and humans are busy. And so, this is something that um, we saw with our customers, the, the people who are the most happy with our app accept that they will not be able to have everything perfect. And so instead of trying to find an app that will sh help you add tags and groups, um, what you actually want to find is an app that helps you do the most in the least time. And that is exactly uh, the way we've built our app. It basically works without you. Even if you stop using it, um, it will keep ma analyzing your data and figuring out who you're losing touch with. And the downside to that is that it's not perfect. Sometimes a contact will uh, slip through the cracks and that's something we have to accept and that our customers have to accept as well, um, that we make a deal where we say, we save you tons of time, but the deal is it's not perfect. And so 
this is a really important mindset to have and um, our customers that didn't have that mindset usually left after some time just because they got frustrated and we understand that. So if you use email a lot and calendar a lot, is everything perfect? Are you ready for a CRM? Not yet. Unfortunately, not every email client works. If you use Outlook or Apple Mail as your main email client, you are out of luck because those apps don't offer integrations. As a company, we cannot access your email data if it's in Apple Mail or if it's in Outlook, which is terrible. What this means is that we can only work with customers who use Gmail. So if you're not using Gmail, consider switching. And if you are already using Gmail, then wonderful, everything will be very easy for you. The same applies for calendar. Um, even though if you use an Outlook calendar, things will still be fine. Uh, but Apple calendars are still out of the question. As a company, we've taken the decision to only focus on the Google ecosystem. So we only integrate with Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Contacts. But there are other uh, CRMs out there that will connect with Outlook, for example, for your calendar. You can find more personal CRMs in the link in the description. So to summarize, if you're using Gmail and Google Calendar, you are the most happy and lucky person in the world. Everything will work out. You can use nearly any personal CRM out there, including ours, and it will work totally fine. And unfortunately, if you're not using Gmail or you're not using Outlook Calendar and you're maybe communicating mainly on WhatsApp, iMessage, LinkedIn or Twitter, then it's going to be very hard for you to effectively use a personal CRM. You might want to consider using Airtable or Notion and just focus on a handful of contacts that are critical to you and there just maintaining this data manually might work out. But it's a lot of work, so consider switching to, to Google Ecosystem. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.